Coming. Leo? Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. I need you to give me like five dollars, like t like twenty dollars, Dad, because I'm in some trouble. You spent all your money on shoot dang merch, didn't you? I told you not to do that. I told you. What you gotta do is give me some money, okay? Can you hold my hand? Leo, no, I'm not gonna hold your hand. Leo, all I have is this one okay. piece. Okay. Of... Give me some money! Oh, what's going on everybody? Hey, before we get the video started, I wanted to say a little something about the viewers who showed up to our YouTube meetup, the YouTube meetup, because, you know, I don't think you guys got enough recognition and there was a lot of channels there. And I noticed a lot of you were enjoying yourself immensely and I wanted to make sure that someone gives thanks for you guys for making this happen because without you, it wouldn't happen at all. So I hope people realize that. So I wanted to start off by saying there was a moment we were eating dinner on Friday night and Irene Pauline from Ohio, she came into the restaurant and she was extremely animated <laughs> to see the crockers of Jared, Matt, uh, Jason, uh, mom and dad were there too. She was ecstatic. I know that made her day. And Jared even got a little teary eyed because he did say that that what that's what makes it all worth it because of that and I know it made her year I don't know what she has going on in her life but I know she was extremely happy for that to somebody to give somebody to, to see something like that it was absolutely amazing and and that kind of changed my attitude throughout the whole meetup and this is the first time that we went to a meetup or I went to a meetup that there were so many people at that were actually there for everybody I mean there's fans of all kinds of channels it just wasn't like a crocker thing so i thought that was really awesome the next one i wanted to give a, a, a little shout out to and a little thank you is uh steven carlson bud i saw a moment you were talking to brazo valley soaps and you you were so grateful for what they were doing and what everybody was doing but you especially made their day because you you thank them immensely for all the hard work that they do. I think they had, I think they said they had like 500 pounds or 600 pounds of product there. And they do that out of their apartment. And you knew that. I mean, you, you realized how much work it took for them to do that. And the dedication to come down there and go through what they go through to make that happen. And you thank them immensely. But the thing was, is I heard you say that you had been out of work for a while and and times were tough bud and to you for you to to put that aside and give thanks to somebody else who may be doing better or whatever that is like there good things happen to people like that bud just hold on tight things are about to get better you just gotta stay to the course you gotta keep your head down you gotta keep grinding man but we appreciate you and thank you for showing up bud it's people like you they make us do what we do. So I wanna give one big shout out. I met a lot of channels there, don't get me wrong, I met a lot of great channels. But this channel is special to me. And their name is Dream Weaver Haven Homestead. I know it's a little long, I know they're gonna probably be working on it, but if not, we like the name, keep it if you must. But I wanted to give them a shout out because they were fellow Nebraskans, they lived in Omaha. We had we had, we talked for a bit. We had great stories. Like they, they lived in the same, almost the same neighborhood. I grew up or not grew up, but I spent, uh, in Omaha. They, uh, we were talking about like where I went to college, went down to garden city, Kansas. They like hit on every note. They left Nebraska though. They went down to homestead in Missouri. Reason being is because homesteading in Nebraska is not really all that nice for somebody who, uh, somebody wants to go totally off grid and they they don't allow people to go totally off grid here in nebraska and missouri that's a free state pretty much and they do that down there just so that's where they moved down we talked about hydroponics uh solar greenhouses the plastics they use everything guys i'm predicting new up and coming channel go check them out they're working on their channel they're just getting started 
go give them a peek because uh, I think they're going places. So let's get to the video and we'll show you what this meetup would look like from my point of view. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, and go subscribe to Dream Weaver Haven Homestead. It's a long one. I have to remember it, but uh, it's you won't be you won't be disappointed. They're great people. Oh man, it's gonna get real busy here real quick. So I actually forgot that I have to go grab my giveaway stuff. And the problem was is I even forgot to grab tickets so I could grab some of this giveaway stuff. So I gotta be sure to grab our tickets here. Now they got it set up different this year because actually they're giving away stuff for just YouTube channels and they're giving away stuff for just viewers and then hope to be our people starting to look to get channels so it's gonna be real interesting these prizes are really big this year so we got a little giveaway package a little goodie package hope everybody enjoys it somebody's gonna get a tasty treat for that long drive here because we have some folks that are here that have driven from florida tennessee tennessee <laughs> We went to Texas and Oklahoma locals, Kansas City, me from Nebraska. Yeah. Some of us just live right down the road pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I'm about 45 <laughs> minutes away. Popular mod, NEM. Oh yeah, we all love NEM. There's a lot more venues. There are so many tables. Have you guys seen this? So many tables open. There's a lot of great merch out there. I'm starting to think Old Sunny Slope needs to get in the merch game. And the giveaways are based on like who you are and what your intention is at the meetup. You know, it's raining, it's humid, it's wet, it's muddy, but it's not stopping anybody here in Oklahoma today from having a good time. We've got some great venues out here. I mean, food trucks and then I like this, this little setup right here. That, I always wanted something set up like that at my place. We might build something like that actually. But I like that, it's pretty cool. But we got, let me check out, they have a whole tent just set up for merch. You're What's going on? I am a hat guy. I like that. Nander Bacon. Just for you, buddy. Now I recognize it. That's yeah. the one hard thing about YouTube is we only get these little thumbnails to look at. Yeah, yeah. And you we gotta really, see it in there. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm seeing this logo. It's all coming together yeah. now. I love it. Now you're official member of the Brotherhood of the Hats. That's right. <laughs> Oh, I see my favorite puppy in the whole wide world. Well, second favorite puppy in the whole wide world. Ooh, better kick this in four wheel drive. Oh, what's going on, girl? Long time no see. Oh, that camera freaked out a little bit. You know, I wasn't surprised to find that a lot of repeat uh, attendees from last year are here again this year. So that says a lot right there. We have a so many new faces so so many new faces so i guarantee next year if you guys miss this year be sure to get into next year because this thing is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and i don't know if you guys know this but they were actually featured in the newspaper prior about this meetup we're actually going to go see two old people on the couch and we're gonna we're gonna go there and do a little podcast thing for them a little intro two old people on the couch here i'd like to welcome you and thank you for viewing the channel <laughs> All right, we got Sunny Slope Homestead with us. What's going on, everybody? And uh, we love him. He likes to talk to his uh, animals. And he, he's good mechanic. He does stuff in his garage too. So yep. he just does about everything. He he chops trees down on on fences on his uh, gate. Yeah, you know? I got a bad habit of chopping a tree down, and I literally took the gate off to move it so it wouldn't get hit by a tree, and I dropped the tree right on that gate. So it's pretty. That's just how life is, man. <laughs> so we super highly recommend Sunny Slope Homestead. So check him out. Subscribe, like, and share. Thanks, guys. Right. Man, that was okay. awesome. It's okay. Yes. <laughs> and then, woo. <laughs> what's going on, guys? What's going on, bud? Is you guys' burgers done yet, or what's going oh, on? Oh, yeah. No, that that was last week. Whenever my grill broke, I had to put the grill up here. I bet, I bet that gives it a real interesting flavor, don't it? So what are we making today? Uh, right now, I'm making a leaf.
Well, we just got done going live, and uh, man, I couldn't get any signal inside this place, so I'm just gonna have to uh, uh, get the password. I got it, I haven't tried it yet. We're gonna try to go live inside here, but we'll see what happens, but man, I gotta come inside and dry out because it's wet. Oh, 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 what? there's a fan over here. Where's it? They, uh, cheaters. Cold beer. <laughs> was hogging it all. Oh and I went over there and Natasha said, she wants some of that air? And I said, hell yeah. So oh man. She turned it. Now, Whew. that, that makes it bearable in here. I know. I mean, I mean, I'm just, just, I was burning up. I was. I might buy a brand wet. new hat. Is, I'm going to have a sweat ring around this hat and everything. And I'm just, I had to come inside because I, I got to put this camera down. I just been walking around doing a live stream carrying this brick around and I'm not going to hang out at this table for a little bit. That's, that's what it pumps you up. <laughs> right? I got a good shoulder workout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>